All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Care to Prevent's personal growth workshop. We are here to help you on your path to achieving your fullest potential. Some of the things we're going to talk about today is learning about self-awareness and why, why that's important, building effective habits so that we can work on growing, being able to let it go, setting some SMART goals, and gaining your own happiness, because that is the goal. What is personal growth? Personal growth is really it's understanding who you are, picturing a change and being motivated to make that change, and then working on developing habits to help you get there. Personal growth is important because it can help you get what you want. When you know who you are and know what you want, it helps with making decisions and it helps you to, to be able to say no when people give you a bunch of mess that you don't need to deal with. And it can help you feel better about yourself and in the end, make you happier. Takesha. Um. Hi, I'm Takesha. Um, I will be talking about uh, who am I? Um, learning about yourself uh, takes a great deal of time. Over the time, um, you will begin to learn things about yourself, meaning things that you like and you do not like. Um, over the uh, times in life, um, over, uh, over time, things in your life will change. Some changes happen for the good and some things can happen for the bad. So, during that course of times, it influences uh, how you see things. Sometimes you learn to adapt to, uh, you learn to adapt to uh, these times, and you begin to learn to adapt, um, and you begin to make adjustments. And sometimes you don't. Um, what do you do? Um, what do you do in things like this? Uh, learning about yourself comes with a lot of change. It um, it has some. You have some serious work to do. Uh, in this course of time, learn about yourself. Uh, in an event, when you begin to learn about yourself, you learn that uh, dealing with people that you might not have as much in common with them that uh, you thought you had in common. Uh, getting out of that uh, comfortable setting um, that you like to uh, be in. So if you're trying to make adjustments in your life and you're trying to uh, do better things, you have to get uh, out of that comfortable setting because when you try to make uh, personal, uh, when you try to make changes, you have to get out that, you must get out that uh, comfortable setting. Refocusing um, yourself um, are all the steps on to uh, on the path that you pass to knowing that who you are when i say refocusing yourself is um basically um taking a time to reevaluate um reevaluate who you are reevaluate what your steps are in life and what are you looking for because you have to be able to know what are you looking for um to go down the path that you want to and like i said getting out of that um, uncomfortable, uh, getting out of that comfortable setting that you're in. So you might have to put yourself in a more uncomfortable situation just for you to grow. Because if you continue to put yourself in settings that you are familiar with, you do not have no growth because you're not learning anything. So like we focusing on who we focusing on yourself to make a necessary uh, changes to all steps. Um, next slide, beautiful. So finding who you are. How is it that you can get to know yourself? It's by asking questions, right? So think of some of these. And while you're thinking of these questions, just remember that no one's listening. You're doing this in your head or in your journal or wherever. So answer honestly to see who you really are. And don't be afraid of um, what those answers might be. So some of those questions are, what do I want in general, in life, this year, today, this hour, what is it that I want? What am I afraid of? What am I really worried about um, happening or afraid of? What is it that matters to me in my life? And 
Then the next question is, what am I doing to get there? Or what am I doing about it? Um, does it really matter what other people think of me? Is that something that actually matters? Or does it not matter in some situations and it does in others? And what is it that makes me smile? <laughs> some prompts for reflection, just to kind of get to know yourself better, is thinking about my favorite way to spend the day or defining two words by which you would like to live your life or feeling your body and, and asking if my body could talk, this is what it would say. Um, and knowing what being kind to yourself looks like. Does that mean having some ice cream? Does that mean uh, taking a walk? Does that mean having a drink? Does that mean flushing out people who are negative influences in your life? I need a change. Um, change doesn't come easy. Um, when you think about change, uh, what do you need a change from? Do you need a change in your career? Do you need a change in your relationship? Um, what do you need a change from? Knowing that when you make a change in your life, uh, setbacks going to happen. Nothing comes easy when you work in towards um, personal growth is nothing going to have easy. So you might take uh, five steps back and you might get hit with 20 steps going back. So setbacks are going to happen in those moments. What do you do? Take a time out to figure out what are you going to do? So do, Hey, do I try again? Do I quit? So say like in the need of change and you going towards something that you really, really want. So, and if it didn't pan out, at this point in time, what do you do? Do you try again or do you quit? Say, hey, um, it didn't happen. Um, I really wanted this. It didn't happen. I'm just going to quit. Um, what do you do? Um, you have to know uh, the circumstances that's going on um, at that particular time. So when you're looking at change in your life, meaning you have to change your mindset too. So because if you don't change your mindset, you're going to get stuck in those same predicaments. So say like if you look to change and um, you had things going on in your particular surroundings that um, say like, I'm going to give an example, um, going for a new job. So say like a particular point in time that you were so excited about going out for this new job and say like you had all the qualifications and stuff like that, but say like you didn't get it. So reevaluate why you didn't get the job. It uh, could have been at the particular moment, it was not the right time that you couldn't get this a job. It didn't mean that it's not going to happen. It just means that it didn't um is not just not the right time. So it doesn't mean that you have to quit saying that I'm not going to look no more. It just means at this particular time that it did happen. It don't mean that you just give, it just completely give up. You just look at how can you redo it and just go about it uh, again and look at the circumstances that's going around um, in your life that can change that then maybe the next time that you go out that you can get this job. Know in your uh, life things that are always going to change and you have to learn how to change with uh, times. Um, things going to change consistently, evolve. Like if you're not a person that likes technology, uh, technology is a big thing that we're using. So if you're not a person that, that likes technology, keep in mind, if you're going for a job and um, technology is a must, you cannot say I want a great job and you say I'm not fond of technology, but of job, of course, now technology is what everybody is using. So keep in mind, you have to be willing to adapt to changing. How do you learn how to change? Ask yourself, what are the steps that you need to take to make a change uh, that does not revolve um, money? Um, you do have, if you're a person that, not up to part with technology. Uh, they do have free classes that you can attend, but then you also too, uh, you also too, if you have children, ask them how to teach you how to learn how to use a computer, how to use databases and things like that. 
look at things that you can do day to uh, day to day in your life. So if you're a person that sleeps till one o'clock, two o'clock, uh, maybe taking a different approach saying, okay, if I sleep to two o'clock, uh, maybe I need to try to wake up a uh, pray about a little bit an hour early. Try to take things slowly. Um, do things slowly each and every day. Do something different to make a change. It don't mean you have to do something dramatically all at once where you have a setback and you uh, don't see the results that you're looking for. Take the time out to um, take the time out to learn what you need to do before you, while you're making these changes. Next slide. Positive habits. Um, I already like this. Taking the steps to increase positive habits, such as uh, if you down talk yourself every day, um, if you don't talk yourself, try to commit to uh, saying something positive about yourself. Think about uh, what do you have. Uh, think about what do you have and practice gratitude towards yourself. Um, examples, I have a place to sleep. I can cook. I help people. Not everything in your life is going to go the way you want it to. That's the thing about when you make it, um, having, when you're thinking about personal growth, Everything in your life is not going to go the way you want it to. So when you start down talking to yourself that uh, I don't have this, I don't have that, I'm not this, I'm not that, that's where you fall short at. Um, yes, you might not have a place of your own, but the great advantage of it is you have, uh, you might be, you might have a roommate, you might uh, have to pay for a room. The upside scale to that is you're not sleeping outside, you have running water, you have a place to sleep. So that's the positive side that you can look at it. Uh, it might not be the best place that you want to be at, but it's a place. Um, cook it. So if you're a person that you like to cook, um, you might want to make money for your cooking. And at this point in time, you might not be in a space to do it. But knowing that when you cook, right, it's not always about what you get out of it. Sometimes it's the feeling that you get uh, when you cook. Knowing that you can cook and others enjoy your cooking, that should be a, a good enough gratitude for you too. Or the fact that, if you are a kind-hearted person, um, you can't change the fact of how people act, but the knowing that you help somebody out, that is a big enough uh, strength for you. That's teaching you something about yourself. That can teach you about the type of career that you might want to have. Looking at these things about who you are, um, when you look at the negative side of everything, it will keep you down in life. So take your negative thoughts and turn them into positive thoughts. When you wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, say, oh, I have a place to sleep. It might not be the best place, but you have somewhere to sleep. Think about all the people that sleeping in tents or sleeping outside. They actually have no place to sleep. Whether you sleeping in the shelter, whether you sleeping in a room with five people, look at the fact that you actually have a place to sleep. Um, you're sleeping on indoors. So look at some positive notes. Um, you have to look at a lot of positive notes. Uh, it might not be where you want to be, but you live in somewhere. Um, and another note is um, some more examples. You may live with people, uh, someone who do not appreciate you. Uh, this may make you feel bad. Remember, that's their behavior or attitude, but it does not ref uh, affect who you are. Remember, in life, I cannot change people's attitudes, people's behavior, but I can change mine. I can change how I deal with people. Um, I can change how I associate with people. I can change the way my mentality is. So when you go into positive habits, you cannot 
change people's behavior. And that's where we get messed up at when we're dealing with our personal growth is we try to change other people's behavior to change us. No, 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 that's not going to happen. You have to change your way of thinking the way you feel because you ain't going to change them. They going to still be dealing, doing the same things for every and every, and they still going to make people feel the same way. The best uh, solution for this is reverse the negative behavior by doing something different, meaning changing your way of thinking. So once you change your way of thinking, your their influence over you will not control you. So you have to change you. Mira. All right. So some affirmations, and this is part of changing. Uh, your thinking, changing your behavior, how you view yourself. Affirmations are just positive statements about you. So they're really easy. And what it is, is, is kind of, in a way, it's fake it till you make it, right? So like, you are smart, you are beautiful. Saying those things to your help, to yourself really helps and it gets through. You might not be believing that the first day, but you keep that mantra going every day, eventually you will start to be feeling better. And then there's other things like, you will get through this, or you are a capable person. You are able to manage complicated things. There's a bunch of things that people can say that affirm who they are. Um, there are some other tips that, that are like acknowledging or being grateful for three things every day. Um, like Takesha said on the previous slide, I can cook, I have a place to sleep, I have some positive people in my life, right? Or acknowledging three good things that have happened in the day. So, you know what, this is almost the end of April and it's snowing, but the good thing is that uh, it'll maybe keep more people inside and reduce the spread of the coronavirus, right? Acknowledging good things that happen. Uh, so negative people, right? That is, that's a huge burden on people. Um, and, and what negative people do is bring others around them down, right? So whenever it's possible, it's important to try and remove those people from your life, right? Sometimes it's hard when it's a sibling or a partner or a very good friend, but there are ways that you can still try and reduce contact with people who bring you down. Uh, another good tip is just in general in life, do not compare yourself to who you see on social media because it makes us all feel bad. And we all know that we post stuff that might not necessarily be true about us. We post all sorts of rosy things when on the inside, maybe we're not feeling it or when actually um, I just cleaned this one corner of my house to make it look nice. But if I turned the camera around, you would see what a mess my place is. Don't compare yourself to who you see on social media. Not just compare yourself to people on social media, is compare yourself to people at all because you grow in different times of, pe of your life. You might have a coworker that's uh, the same age as you and you and her or you and him are not in the same, um, on the same level. Don't let that get you down because y'all not in, on the same track. So y'all grow at different times, different space. That can also be an area of personal growth of not letting yourself get down because you're uh, not comparing yourself to others. So what's one of the biggest ways to be able to grow is by letting it go. Don't let people hold you back. Don't let anger hold you back right? How can you let go of anger? How can you let go of those other things that hold you back, that stuff that you just can't let go of? Letting go of anger is conscious. It has to be something that you work towards and that you think about. It's not something that just happens or that just falls into your lap. Someone's not gonna cut you off and you get super angry about it and then you're like, oh well, it's okay. That has to be a conscious choice. There are some really concrete ways that you can work towards letting go of this anger. Breathing and counting in the moment, taking a breath, counting down to 10, that can really help. It can also help prevent you from saying things in, say, in a rage that you 
no, you shouldn't be saying and that you know you'll feel bad about later. Give yourself time to indulge in the anger. If there is anger or any kind of frustration that happens, let yourself feel it, give yourself some time to do it, and then wash it away. Feel it washing away. Separately, it's important to accept responsibility. Accept responsibility for your outlook in life, for your role in any situation, and to stop blaming other people for bringing you down. So uh, like Takesha had said a couple slides ago, you're uh, you, in a situation where you do a lot for someone else and they don't recognize it and they make you feel bad. Yeah, you know what? They should be treating you better, but you can, you are the one who can, who can let that person bother you or not bother you. It's your frame of reference, which can be like, hey, you know what? I'm not going to I'm not going to care what this person says because I know who I am. It's also important to focus on the present instead of man that one time 6 years ago this guy did this thing. Let it go, right? Focus on today. How did that affect you today? What are you doing about it today? And then one of the biggest things of course is to forgive yourself and to forgive other people. Without that, it's really hard to move on. So, another part of letting go is kind of finding that difference between letting go and bargaining. Bargaining is essentially kind of when you're using the word if. So, oh, if I could just make him see what I do for him or see that I'm faithful or whatever, then I'll feel better. Or if I can just wait to get the promotion, I won't be as upset at work. Those, that is not letting it go. That's, that's kind of bargaining. It's trying to find um, a way to, essentially a, a way to not let it go. What letting go is, is dealing with reality and making a new plan. So look, either I can accept his flaws as they are, or I can leave him. Or, you know what, why don't I just start looking for a new job today? It's taking action, right? All of these things are purposeful and, and action steps. Uh, and, and they help with reframing the situation to, uh, to Keisha, this is you. Uh, what will it take? Um, go set it. Know what you want to do first. Um, you have to have a firm idea of what you want to do. Um, your ideas have to be able to be achievable. When you know what you want to do, uh, you have to sit down and think, um, your ideas can't be all over the place. Um, Today you can't be want to be a nurse. Today, tomorrow you can't be want to be a doctor. Um, the next day you can't be a uh, meteorologist, and then uh, four days later you want to be an astronaut. Um, you have to be serious about what it is that you want to do, what it is that you're inspired to do. Uh, because when your thoughts and ideas don't make no sense, um, you get stuck. You get bombarded with thoughts and things that don't make sense so once you have a firm idea of what you do you go to make a plan on to first how to approach your goals uh you have to have a plan to give you a roadmap of how to achieve these goals so once you have your firm idea of what you want to do then you sit down and make your plan then once you made your plan on uh, how you're going to go do these things you have to have a timeline for your goals that's the key important your timeline so you making a timeline because um you can always have an idea yes you can um yes you can you have many ideas but the thing about it is you're giving yourself a timeline because if you truly want this to happen you're going to give yourself uh some deadlines just just like you're at work your boss said i need this done for you by, by fridays it's just like your goals um you want to finish school Give yourself the appropriate time to finish school. Give yourself enough time to say, I'm going to have this setback. I'm going to have this. Give you enough time, self enough time that you're going to have some um, things that's going to prevent you from not finishing on time. Give yourself enough time, uh, enough time where you can be able to accomplish the things that you want to be able to accomplish. Um, have some realistic ideas and goals. It's not saying that you can't do it, but just understand that. Uh, could you be a, a doctor, a nurse, and a meologist, and uh, an astronaut all in one year? J j j just, just have some realistic goals and ideas. 
So I want to add with, because these are SMART goals, right? So let's see if I can remember, if we can remember. SMART is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. Uh, what, what creating goals like this helps with is to have that firm idea of what you're going to do. And when you have it specific like that, it's easier to mark something off. When you mark something off, you feel good because it's something that you do did that you accomplished right so instead of saying i'm going to make some changes that's not specific it's not time bound your change may be i will try to wake up at 6 a.m three out of seven days of the week you have a specific goal a specific thing that you want you have the time frame that you want to do it in and it helps you to be able to assess how you're moving towards achieving that goal So as we go back and reflect on what we just heard, it's kind of a way to start fresh, start new, right? Those paths are there. You just have to find it and choose the one that you want to be on. We have the tools now to learn who you are, to ask yourself who you are, figure that out, and to see what it is that you want. Look back through some of those tips and try them out, see how they work. And just remember that change takes time and effort. It's something that you have to try hard to do. And also it's something that's not gonna happen tomorrow. It's something that happens over time. Let it go, right? Try and let go of those things that hold you back. That's the only way you'll be able to move forward. Set goals for yourself. And then once you've worked towards those things, you can start to sit back and enjoy that new happiness and just live your best life. Here are some of the resources that we used. And we just wanna thank you. Hope you're keeping safe and hope that you all have learned something. Thank you very much.